position of the control over the rider. But the turns have to be smooth and not cut sudden turns, you have to ride your corners. But also you don't want the horse's head rolling from side to side, but they have to be in the corner just bent around your leg. It's also important that the rider, you'll see every now and then, she just sit to the stride. And this is because you have to change the diagonal. Yeah. I think this is the moment about this canter. It's nice and smooth and just as hard as you can. That's what you want if you're riding side to side. Meat that is produced by the farmers with their beef cattle, like the ones who brought their stock here. Meat that is produced in real volumes in this country by the Limousin Cattle Breed. Ring number five, comment him uh, here, and Don't auctioneer jump. judged by David Tomlinson. David from Carlisle, from Harrison and Hetherington sold a huge volume of finished cattle to uh, abattoirs and butchers in his time. And of course in more recent years have sold a huge number of high value pedigree cattle to farmers throughout this country. He's got a class of limited heifers representing the country's beef breed today. And I think around the ring you should congratulate them on the way they've turned these limousines out the quality of the cattle that they brought here to represent the country's top beef breed today. And uh, David has passed a red prize from the card and rosette to Daniel Turner and his family with Limousin Cattle, a reserve championship rosette to uh, whose actual animal is it, Laura? Dickens is, yes, and it is the Dickens family's uh, Limousin standing there in second prize in the class. Yes. Dickens is and uh, Daniel Turner there. First and second prize winners in that very strong Limousin at the class. So we'll focus back on the ring with Cattle in it again in a few moments. Those of you who are asking yourself, well, what are these other cattle that are riding in the rings? The ones that you can see in two and three are Longhorn and Dexter. Dexter's a small. Longhorns are long, and they have long horns. One of the distinctive characteristics of the longhorn is the length through the body of the animal. I go to the cows. The, long horns. the horns are attractive. The length of the body means there's plenty of flesh for a butcher to cut and cut and cut again to produce good quality oh joints of beef. What? to you the process. These cattle you see are principally breeding cattle. They're bulls and they are females. 
the bulls that will serve the cows for a life of about 10 or 12 years hopefully once they've matured the cows that will produce a calf every year um, from the service of the bull and nurture that calf from birth through to the day it's weaned the cow returns to see the bull again and she produces another calf she'll continue that cycle for 10 or 12 or 15 years we're looking all the time in these purebred breeding cattle these pedigree breeding cattle to improve fleshing for beef milk for the calf male characteristics to produce a long living bull commercially on farms we use crossbred suckling cows generally to produce large volumes of young calves to be finished for the butcher it's the next stage down from the pedigree breeding stock the use of a pedigree limousin bull a pedigree charolais bull a devon bull or a south devon bull a sussex bull to produce your young calves those young calves will be fed grass and concentrate feed as well as waste veg vegetable feed and other byproduct from the food industry in order to become or to develop a level of fleshing which is considered to be finished ready for the butcher and that's where most of the young flat good beef comes from young crossbred calves not necessarily the purebred stock that you see in this ring this purebred stock is used as a seed stock for the young crossbred calves. Many of those crossbred calves come out of the dairy herd as well as out of hybrid or crossbred suckling cows. <laughs> and they all help to maintain huge throughput through local livestock markets for butchers and meat traders to come and purchase as live animals and also in this day and age for the major abattoir groups to source and procure on contract from finishers of beef cattle. The new world of contracts for beef cattle mean that there are men finishing cattle in large numbers, buying huge volumes of food and able to secure that food relatively cheaply. And that has led to an emergence of a very strong store cattle trade. The store cattle trade originally was for in order to move the stock from the breeding areas to the finishing areas. The job of the store cattle trade now is to maintain a supply in large numbers of stock for the finisher wherever he's based and uh, generally the breeder of stock is selling more store cattle to the professional finisher and the professional finisher is on that contract to the abattoir when 200 go out on a monday morning another 200 have got to be back in the yard by friday night and that puts the pressure on him to go out into the auction market and to pay a fair price for the store stock giving himself still a margin as a finisher so we have seen a changing perspective the livestock markets in this country still supply a lot of cattle to the butchers and the meat trade but they do sell more and more from the original breeder store cattle for the specialist finisher to come and buy in the store ring we're keeping cattle in front of you as best we can through this lunchtime period of the show we're looking for more classes of longhorn beef cattle dexter dual purpose breed cattle limers and cattle south devon cattle and uh, any other beef breeds if there's any other beef breed ring you've got sussex charolais british blue breeds the charolais a 1960s and early 1960s introduction into this country the blues as late as the early 1980s the first Br belgian blue cattle were introduced to the country and the soft breed of course is an ancient breed of cattle recognized originally as a draft animal from the southeast corner of this country and recognized for the fine beef that it produces still produces sussex cow and calf for katie in the ring we have 
Charlie Bull, Blue Heifer. Charlie Heifer. And a Liverson cattle breeder. In the ring to complete the picture. Any other pure beef breed. The Blue producing young calves out of the dairy industry and the dairy cow in particular to finish his beef or to mature into suckling cows. The Charolais breed, out and out, a terminal sire beef breed.